the PT-6 it is divided on two sections, the gas generator section and the power section. On the gas generator side, we have the accessory gearbox, air intake, axial compressor, centrifuge compressor, and compressor turbine. On the power side section, we have the combustion chamber, turbine, power, and exhausts. Note, the compressor turbine and power turbine are not connected. It is what we call the free turbine. At the front of the engine, we have the reduction gearbox and propeller shaft. The ITT for interstage turbine temperature and provide accurate reading of engine temperature. The probe is located between the compressor drive and power turbines. This section is also called N2. The gas generator tachometer or N1 read the RPM of the compressor in percent. 37,500 RPM is equals at 100% and it is limited at 38,100 RPM, who give 101.5% of N1. On the left we have the main battery switch, followed by the generator switches. Any instrument such as fuel flow works with alternating current. The switch transform direct current into alternating current for the instrument as the fuel flow. Ignition switch with three positions, off position in the middle position. Pull up to the ignition and start the engine starter, pull down on startup position. It makes the starter run without the ignition, it is spring loaded. And the last control is the control lever in the lower position the fuel is cut, moved upwards and fuel going to the engine to idle. Battery master, on. Inverter, on. Check the load on both sides to make sure we have enough power for the start and the battery is connected to both engine starter. Prop clear, engage the starter, you should ear working the spark plug. And the compression shoulds budget, count up to 5 seconds, the N1 shoulds stabilize at 16%. Wait 5 seconds and check the fuel flow when add fuel. Check the ITT and be ready to put the starter on the motor. And cut the fuel in the event of a hot starter start hub. When the ITT reach the pick, N1 should be at 51%. At 51% turn the motors on off position. The engine is now started before starting the other engine. Connect the generator for recharging the battery. And check the generator it is connected to the opposite engine. Turn the generator off before it attending to start the other engine. 